Uh-oh, friends coming over. What to serve with cocktails? I need something quick, easy, and that everyone will really like. Now, I was able to find some smoked whitefish. If you're in a part of the country that has kind of a Jewish uh, population, it's easy to find. Otherwise, I find a lot of supermarkets are starting to carry it, and a lot of the fish stores carry fresh uh, or smoked whitefish. This is some smoked whitefish without nitrates, which I really like. What I've done is I have gone ahead and deboned the whitefish. You want to be careful. A lot of it will be sold in chunks, and if you can buy the center chunks, you're a lot better off than the tail pieces. But when you're taking it off the bone, make sure you get the little hair, little pin bones that are hidden in there. Otherwise, they're kind of nasty, you know, if they go down the wrong way. And anyway, so leave it kind of chunky at first because it will break down as you mix it. This is a really good either on toast points or with vegetables. God, it's just really versatile. Great with cocktails. Smoked whitefish, some fresh squeezed lemon, and this will take quite a bit of fresh squeezed lemon for sure. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of some chopped red onion and or green onion. I sort of like the red onion or green onion. And you want to mince this on the fine side. You don't want this in big, huge chunks. And it doesn't take a lot. If you wanted to keep this for any length of time, then you should use straight green onion. It keeps a little bit longer than yellow or red onion, but I like the appearance of this red onion too. Then we'll add some fresh pepper. Now I'm not going to add any salt to this because when the fish is brined for smoking, there's always salt in there. And with the salt, you know, you want to taste just this first before you add extra salt. A lot of times it's really not necessary. So we're going to add some dried dill, but if you happen to have fresh chopped dill, all the more better. So after the fresh dill and the capers, and like I say, no salt because you want to taste it, chances are it's not going to need any. And then the 50-50 bit of a little bit of mayonnaise and sour cream. The sour cream adds to cut the smokiness. It tones it down a little bit and smooths it out and it's really a good combination. We'll taste adjust this and see what we might have to add to it. Hopefully, probably nothing. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. That is quite lovely. That really makes a nice hors d'oeuvre. Served on a little party pumpernickel, served on a little party rye, served with vegetables, whether it be in a little cucumber cup, that would be perfect with this. Or, God, so many options. So anyway, then put it in a little bowl. I put a little capers on top of it, a few little radishes on the side. Smoked whitefish salad is really good. If you can find it, do try the salad with it. And I hope you enjoy it and hope to see you again. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen.